Not only can we figure out how many rounds it would take for a 1v1 tournament with everybody on Earth participating, we can also really easily figure out the actual number of matches. Let's quickly illustrate this with something like a tennis tournament. Imagine we're watching a tennis tournament and there are two players that remain in that tournament. Obviously this tournament is only going to have one round because the two players play their one match and then that's it. So as we track the players and the rounds, we can see that two players leads to one round in our tournament. If we had four players, then we would need a semifinals. So four players requires two rounds, and then this pattern continues. Eight players require three rounds, 16 players require four rounds, 32 players require five rounds, and so on. The logarithm is the tool that will give us back the number of rounds based on the number of players. The log base two of the number of players is going to give us back the number of rounds. So if we have a tournament with every person on Earth participating, all we need to do is take the log base Base 2 of our current population, which is roughly 8.2 billion. Log base 2 of 8.2 billion is 32.93, which means 32 rounds wouldn't be quite enough for the total population of Earth, but 33 rounds would. Now, what's wild to me is there's actually an even easier way to figure out how many total matches occur in the tournament. So let's come back to our table here, but let's extend it this time. Not just that we have the number of rounds, but also that we have the total number of matches matches. Again, if we have two players, they're going to play one match, and the winner of that match is the winner. So at that level, the rounds and the matches match. Rounds and the matches match. But if we think to the semifinal round, there would be two semifinal matches, plus the one final match means that there are three total matches in those two rounds. And if we zoom out from there to the quarterfinal round, there are four quarterfinal matches, plus two semifinal matches, plus one final round match makes seven. Now on one level, you might notice what's happening is that we're adding up consecutive powers of two. So for a tournament with four rounds, we would want to add one and two and four and eight, which would make 15 total matches. But there's actually a much easier way to come up with that number. We don't need to add consecutive powers of two. We just need to notice that at every stage, the total number of matches is one less than the total number of players. The reason for this is that if we're going to go from 32 players all the way down to one, we have to have as as many matches as it takes to eliminate all but one of those players. That is, for a five round tournament with 32 players, we would need 31 matches. And for a tournament with all 8.2 billion people on the planet, we would need one less than 8.2 billion matches. So 8,199,999,999 matches is what it would take to go from every person on the planet down to just one single winner.